Hello, Aries. Welcome to your weekly reading. This is a general reading for April the 17th or whenever you are drawn to this message. All right, Aries, we're going to dive in with a couple of overall oracle messages. Then we'll get some tarot messages as well as close it off with messages from spirit. All righty. We've got leadership. Archangel Gabriel. It is time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. Wow, that's beautiful. Let's get a color oracle for you. These are colors that you can incorporate into your wardrobe, things that you may eat or drink, jewelry, or just take the message. All right, Aries, please, Sultine. Okay. Watermelon. I like that. Have fun with your inner child. Okay, Aries. That's very Aries energy there. We're going to get past energies for the situation that Aries is dealing with. Past energies. That one. Ten of air. Okay, letting things go. Doing some cord cutting, releasing. Could also be a new beginning. This tens break down to a one. All right, let's get one more for Aries. Okay, or two more. <laughs> Page of Water and Empress. Virgo energy, maybe a bit. Capricorn. Very Earth. Page of Water. So this is like a Pisces energy, very childlike, very nurturing. Okay, you could be um, doing some inner healing, nurturing your inner child, or you could be a mother nurturing children at this time or in the recent past. Let's dive in and clarify some of this. Ten of air, please. This is a new deck. Just got this Wizards Tarot, and I'm really enjoying it. I think one flipped. Can't find it, though. Okay. Wasn't your card, then. Perhaps it'll come out. Well, we got one. Okay. The chariot, yes, moving past th things from the past, letting go. I see this as letting go of a lot of resentments. Ready to move towards your future. Okay, let's look at the page of water. Again, I'm getting a very childlike energy from this. King of Cups, yeah. Okay. So this is this is like an emotional connection that you have with someone. This king is very grounded though, very mature. So yeah, again, I'm getting that that your higher self 
has been working on helping to heal the inner wounded child from the past. Okay, let's look at the Empress. You'll know how this pertains to you. If it doesn't resonate, check out your other placements as I do upload for each zodiac sign. Okay, so team Empress. Oh, the hanged man. Yeah, I see this as a, a lot of self-reflection. A lot of waiting. Waiting for introspection. Waiting for perhaps a message. Okay, let's look at your current energies. Current energies for Aries. Also, too, the uh, Page of Water is, it is an adventurer. So, could be waiting on a new adventure. Oh, there's a Seven of Air just came out. And the Fortune's Wheel with the Seven of Water. Oh, seven, seven. Ooh, sevens could be of significance for you. Could be very lucky. And with the will here, hmm. You could be playing the lottery this week. I'm just saying that, Aries, you know. Okay. But seven of air can also mean naysayers around you. These are some negative Lower vibrations around you could be people that have secrets. Could be plans being made in secret. Okay, seven of air. Judgment. Ooh, okay. Oh, you're being awakened to this. This is coming to light for you, the people that don't really have your best interest at heart. Perhaps they're jealous. Let's look at the fortune's wheel. Could be that others are seeing this change that's been occurring in you. Okay, the ten of wands, the two of wands. Oh, sorry. Um, this is about decisions or path. Maybe they, okay, so if you have taking a, taken a different path here in the, pa in the recent past and you've chose to perhaps change your careers, some kind of drastic change in your life, not everyone is on board with this change and you may or may not be aware of that. That's okay. Um, you have to do what's right for you. Seven of water. Okay. Too many, but I will take this one is the star. Okay, some people may even think you're a little bit delusional. But I see this as you wishing. Star is about healing. Perhaps you've been seeking this healing. Okay. I'm going to get the advice from Spirit on this. For Aries. Yeah, it could be healing from the confusion. Uh, these people could have purposely caused 
confusion or even unknowingly caused it. Strength and the eight of fire, both eight. Eights are infinity, but they also talk a lot about cycles. So I feel like this is a cycle that you have been through before. But I do feel like this time something is different. You're changing something. Whether that is do, now you're making a different choice, maybe choosing you. Okay, let's look at the strength. I think you're taming the inner beast within that wants to talk negative to yourself. Okay. You are becoming more confident. Okay. So we got the Four of Cups and the Hierophant. And we got the Two of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. Yeah, you're choosing to put yourself first and this conflict that you've been dealing with is really boring you <laughs> like you are so fed up with this but the five of wands here is a lot about skill and training as well. So I do see you coming. Like these are lessons that are making you stronger. All these cycles that you've been through have not been in vain is what I'm being told. Okay. And you will see that you you will start to put the pieces together of why you've had to go through this and how much your life is changing because you are now choosing a different path. You're not you're not gonna you're not continuing in the same cycle. If that makes sense. Okay, we're going to move forward and get the probable outcome if you follow Spirit's advice. Which is to balance. Again, with the eights, this is balancing. Really get grounded with meditation at this time. Yeah. I'm seeing that here, too. Okay. Probable outcome for Aries, please. Please, Salty. Okay. That one. Oh, we got the Ten of Cups and the Page of Fire. Well, that's a nice energy. It's very powerful, passionate, happy messages I'm seeing. Okay, Ten of Water. Can y'all see those? Yeah, okay. What's the Ten of Water here? In this is a wish fulfillment, wish granted. This is being in harmony with yourself as well. Emotionally happy, full of gratitude. And we got the Eight of Wands. Oh, messages. Perhaps you're helping to spread happiness to others. I like that energy. It's... It, it's a very nice energy, very peaceful. Page of fire. Mm, 
healing. Four of Swords and the Five of Swords. Healing and recovery. Uh, I'm I'm looking at his the look on his face here, uh, and I just feel like he's got this smirk. That's you, like you 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 underestimated me, kind of feeling. <laughs> so I do feel like you are you have been underestimated, and you will find victory and healing in this process. Let's. Close it out with a message from Spirit. For Aries. A mother's love. Who got that one? I believe Jim and I got that one as well. Okay. A mother's love is reaching out to you at this time and holding you close. She knows how much you miss her and wants to remind you that this special bond of love can never be broken. Even if your mother is still in the physical, this could be a grandmother, an aunt, Someone who, who was very nurturing in your life. Just know that you are still loved and protected at this time. All right, Aries. Thank you for watching. Go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more of this content because I upload every week. All right, good luck. Let me know in the comments below how this pertains to you. And I'll see you next week. Bye-bye, Aries.